In this video, we review DevOps and Azure DevOps. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. If you've been in IT for any amount of time, you've heard of DevOps. In this video, we review how DevOps compares with Azure DevOps and the features that make up Azure DevOps. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Your support for this channel is greatly appreciated. Become a member for early access to these videos and check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop and Hybrid Identities with Azure AD. The link is below. Back to it, it's easy to be a little confused with DevOps and Azure DevOps. There are two different things with almost the same name. DevOps refers to a culture more than anything else. It's used to describe a combination of development and operations, hence the name DevOps. The idea is this, traditional IT has a development team that creates and updates applications. They're responsible for adding features and fixing bugs. Operations deploys and manages those applications. Operations is responsible for reliability, performance, keeping the application available. These two groups are silos and don't always have the same interest. While development creates updates and changes to applications that add features requested by the organization, Operations is responsible for stability, and nothing causes instability like introducing changes to an environment. These two competing interests can cause conflict between the teams. DevOps is about removing these silos so the two teams, development and operations, can work together for a common goal of providing reliable applications and updates that add value to the organization. DevOps also includes a methodology behind how code is developed. The idea is for rapid delivery of improvements and features to respond to the organization's changing needs. I once heard DevOps described as doing more work in smaller batches and getting along with coworkers. Although there's a lot more to it than that, I think that description is a nice summary of DevOps. Let's talk about Azure DevOps next. While DevOps is a combination of culture and methodology, Azure DevOps is a product. Azure DevOps started out as Team Foundation Server, or TFS. There's an on-premises version of Azure DevOps and a more popular online version. Azure DevOps is a platform that facilitates application development with DevOps or other development methodologies. Azure DevOps has a code repository or repo feature used to store the code. There's an option for Team Foundation version control or a Git repository. Git is by far the most popular option. The code stored in a repo could be .NET, Python, PowerShell, or Markdown. Any text document can be stored in a repo. An Azure DevOps repo provides version control, code review, and code security, allowing multiple developers to work together on the same project. Azure DevOps provides more than just a location to store code. To facilitate a DevOps culture, it includes Azure Boards, a way to manage work items associated with a project. This can be used for Agile and Scrum as well, and is sometimes referred to as a Kanban board. Azure boards use cards to represent a unit of work. The card is assigned to a team member and that's tracked throughout the development lifecycle. Azure DevOps also provides Azure pipelines. A pipeline is an automated task to build and test code. A pipeline is essential for continuous integration and continuous delivery or CICD. This is the process for automating the testing and merging of code. It speeds up the development cycle by limiting or removing manual tasks replacing them with automation. We can build testing into the CICD pipeline with Azure Test Plans. An Azure Test Plan is a set of tools used to test code. A test plan could be a manual test, user acceptance testing, for example, or automated testing. By adding testing into the pipeline, there's a faster feedback loop, allowing developers to quickly identify and resolve problems with the code. Finally, Azure DevOps provides a way of sharing artifacts between pipelines. An artifact is the output from a build process. It can be the code itself or a binary output from the build process, a DLL, EXE, or NuGet package, for example, or any other output from the build. Azure artifacts provide for sharing these outputs from the build process. You may be wondering how Git and GitHub compare to Azure DevOps. Git is an open source tool for source code management. It's a distributed source code management system, meaning everyone has their own copy of the code. Azure DevOps can use Git for source code management in the repo. The other option is Team Foundation version control. TFVC is a centralized code management tool. 
Git has become very popular and most organizations are moving to Git for source code management. GitHub, on the other hand, is the source code management system that was purchased by Microsoft a couple years ago. It has many similar features to Azure DevOps, but feature parity between the two is not 100%. Either one is a good choice for code management. There have been some concerns that GitHub will replace Azure DevOps. Microsoft has no stated plans for that, and both systems are fully supported by Microsoft for the foreseeable future. That is an overview of Azure DevOps and the differences between Azure DevOps and DevOps. DevOps is a methodology and culture around application development, and Azure DevOps is a product that supports the DevOps approach to creating applications. I hope that helps clarify the two. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.